Hi, my name is Nick Cantor, head goalkeeping coach with STMA United. Today's topic is going to be distribution, and we're going to talk about throwing the ball and punting the ball. The three types of throws are going to be the roll, the baseball throw, and the overarm throw. The first part of distribution is throwing the ball. Now the first type of throw we're going to talk about is a rolling throw. A rolling throw is used for short balls where we would like to keep the possession and keep the ball on the ground. So as with bowling, we take our, if I'm right handed, I take my left foot, I point it at the target, I get low to the ground, and my one hand goes back and forward, getting low to the ground and following through towards the target. Let's take a look at what this would look like. Yeah, pretty simple. Hopefully, if it's done correctly, we'll avoid the ball bouncing on the ground and it's easy to receive for our field players. The second throw we're going to talk about today is the baseball throw. The baseball throw is used from medium range throws that we can get slightly off the ground. As with the rolling throw, our lead foot, our left foot if we're right handed, points at the target. Also our left hand points at the target. As we bring the ball up, we keep it close to the ear with a 45 degree angle on the ball. The goalie also comes slightly down when they throw the ball and we would like to throw a ball that lands two thirds of the way to the recipient so that they can receive it on the ground. Let's take a look at what this might look like. Finally, if you notice when I throw the ball, the ball should come off of my pointer finger and my middle finger. As with catching, the fingers stay spread and the follow through is with those two fingers toward the target. The third type of throw we're going to talk about is the overarm throw. The overarm throw is usually the most common and we see it for longer distance uh, throws. As with the, the baseball throw, a lead foot points at the target, a left arm also points at the target. The difference is, is with the overarm throw the elbow stays straight. So we keep the ball, some goalies with smaller hands might use their forearm to hold the ball. With goalies with larger arms, they may be able to just bend the wrist and keep the ball nice and comfortable. The shoulders on the overarm throw start parallel to the receiver, and as we throw, we rotate perpendicular. So, let's take a look at what this might look like in real time. We're going to take a step towards the target, hand pointing at the ball, and our arm is going to act like a catapult, starting by the hip and rotating through at a 45 degree angle. Again, coming off of the pointer finger and the middle finger. Let's take a look. The last part of distribution is kicking the ball. Today we're going to talk about punting. With punting, as we kick the ball, we like to see the goalies keep the toe pointed down in the ballerina position. As we strike the ball, we're going to strike it on the laces, similar to a shot on goal. Now, it's very important that as the goalie releases the ball, they do not throw the ball up into the air. With younger keepers, we like to tell them, simply drop the ball and let, let the ball meet your foot. So as we punt the ball, we start in maybe a one o'clock or a two o'clock position off to the side of our target. And as we come forward, as we strike the ball, our hips rotate towards the 12 o'clock position. 
For younger keepers, it's probably important that they hold the ball with two hands so we don't lose the ball as we're ready to punch it or as we're ready to punt it. For older keepers, a one-handed top or a one-handed drop from the opposite hand of their kicking foot. This allows the keeper to rotate their hips through a little bit faster, a little bit more power. Let's take a look at what this might look like in real time from two hands. 